Here's the push. Trying to get up in the end zone. However, play is going to be whistled dead. And the runner is taken down right around the 42 yard line. And the ball is still on the ground as she's covered. Away from the single and the shot. Runners looking for some room out there. Here's a run up inside. Oh my. Touchdown. That extra point is up. Get us the ball back. Move, man! Get the ball! Get, get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! Get it! There's a snap. And the defenders are there. Hey, look, look. It's just third and it's open like shit. Open second. Up and down. There's a low snap. And here comes the pursuit. And the runner is going to recap. Oh my, there's a lot of traffic up in there. A lot of Kramer and Hornets. Once the game inside, handoff in between the tackle. There's a handoff. Here comes the pressure. Runner found some room up in there. He's going to pick up about five yards. Block here in the first half. There's a handoff on this side. Found a little room up in there. Go! There's a pass out in the flat. Oh my. How you doing, coach? Can you introduce yourself? How you doing? I'm Coach Al. I'm uh, the wide receiver coach for Rock Creek Christian Academy. And we're here at Johnson Middle School um, just recruiting some of the kids to uh, try to get them to come uh, be student athletes at our high school. All right, 
So I know you said you're recruiting. You got your whole squad over there. So what, what's so special about Johnson that you need your whole crew? Well, obviously, we know we got the uh, Johnson's an excellent program. Um, a lot of big uh, kids come out of there, and we know we heard a lot about some of their players. And so we came to just check them out for ourselves, see them up close and personal. All right, what players are the Johnson boys, and what cloud? What qualities do they have that, that fits your, your expectations? Well, from a physical standpoint, um, they got the height, the speed, the uh, athleticism. Um, we know that, 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 that academically uh, they're required to maintain a, a certain standard that, that we also uphold at our school. And we just know that uh, the standard that it takes to be winners, they've exemplified that. And so we'd love to use that as a funnel for our program as well. All right, Coach, thank you for the interview. All right, thank you so much. They can't see anything that I just did. Looks good. That's good. Yes, now. Got away from one defender. Pushed out of bounds. Here comes the flag. Runner follows some good blocking, and that's going to be enough for first down yard. Looks like they're going to run it. Oh, no. No. There's a snap. Trying to find some room up inside. Oh, my. Pass up top. That pass is incomplete. Ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you. I got plenty of it. You want to be on the What's up, guys? Today I'm here at the MVP of today's game, and I'm going to have him introduce himself. Tuckier Davis. What position do you play? What team do you play for? Running back, linebacker in Johnson Middle School. All right, so you were an absolute monster in today's game. One play, you broke like 15 tackles. I was amazed. You know, why do you think you were so su so successful? My line. Okay, okay. All right, so what did you do to prepare for this game, you know? Hard work and practice, weight room, uh -huh. and just, you know. Yeah. <laughs> How ex so you have all these schools coming out to watch you play, you know. How, how exciting is that that schools are watching you, are excited to watch you play? It's very exciting. Okay, on a scale of one to ten. Ten. <laughs> All right. Do you have any school that you like, really, really like? St. John's, Carroll, DeMatha, Dunbar, Friendship, and Good Counsel. All right, all right. Where can the audience follow you at? Underscore dot four TKD. All right. So, is there anybody you want to shout out for getting you to this point? Uh, my line, my mom, I mean my dad, my family. Alright, so we usually ask everybody this. You don't have to do it, 
But will you do a celebration dance for the audience? No. Oh. <laughs> Alright, thank you for the interview. What's up guys? Today I'm here with the coach of the Johnson boys and I'm going to have him introduce himself. Hey, I'm Coach Tony from the uh, Johnson boys middle school Panthers of Southeast. Alright coach, so your team was really successful in this game, you know. Can, can you give us a little quick summary of the game? Yeah, we uh we had we had prep for this game all week, and we basically knew what they was going to do. You know what I'm saying? So we just came out and tried to capitalize on everything they did. All right, so you guys started it off super fast and strong and and good, and y'all ended super fast and strong and good. Why, why do you think that is? Uh, man, preparation. You know, preparation. Your dad know how much work we put in, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, we uh we try to we try to put in a lot of work to help these kids, man, get to the next level. The same work you do, man. <laughs> the preparation you put in to be great, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So, is there anything you want to say to your fans out there? Oh man, we thankful. We thankful for the thankful for the fans. Thankful for everybody that came out. Thankful for all the schools that came out, and we want everybody to keep supporting us. Keep supporting us till we get to the championship. All right, coach. Thank you for the interview. All right, buddy. <laughs>